The Dow Jones Industrial Average was set to open 200 points higher Monday, bouncing after five straight sessions of losses. S&P 500 and Nasdaq futures were also pointing to a broad-based rally as a recent resurgence of COVID cases due to the Delta variant appears to moderating. CNBC all three stock benchmarks finished lower Friday, with the S&P 500 also down five sessions in a row. The Nasdaq logged its third consecutive negative session. For the week, the Dow and S&P 500 dropped almost 2, 2% and 1, 7%, respectively, their worst weeks since June. The Nasdaq posted its worst week since July, sliding 1. 6%. CNBC, markets brace for hot consumer inflation report in the week ahead. CNBC House Democrats are expected to propose sweeping tax increases on U.S. companies, wealthy Americans and investors to help pay for their $3. Trillion budget bill. The plan calls for a corporate tax hike rate to 26. 5% from 21% and a 3% surtax on individual income above $5 million, according Reuters, citing two people familiar with the matter. Democrats are also considering raising the top capital gains tax rate to 28. 8% from 23. 8%. House Democrats propose extending expanded child tax credit to 2025, CNBC tropical storm Nicholas was strengthening just off the Gulf Coast and could make landfall in Texas as a hurricane Monday as it brings heavy rain and floods to coastal areas from Mexico to storm-battered Louisiana. Nicholas is headed toward the same area of Texas that was hit hard by Hurricane Harvey in 2017. AP Biden to survey wildfire damage in Idaho and California, AP, California's battle with climate change is at stake in Tuesday's recall election, CNBC Based Pfizer's COVID vaccine, developed in conjunction with German partner BioNTech, could be authorized for use in kids 5 to 11 as soon as next month, according to two sources familiar with the situation who spoke to Reuters. Pfizer is expected to have enough study data by then to submit an application for emergency use to the FDA. The two-dose Pfizer shot is already on emergency use for adolescents 12 to 15 and full approval for people 16 and older. Reuters Hong Kong listed shares of Alibaba dropped more than 4% overnight after a Financial Times report that Beijing wants to break up and group Alipay and force the creation of a separate loans app. U shares of Alibaba, BABA, Ant Group's e-commerce affiliate, were also under pressure in Monday's pre-market. Chinese electric vehicle stocks also dropped after the industry minister said there are too many EV makers in China and that consolidation in the sector is needed. CNBC Disney DIS, will show the remainder of its slate of movies this year exclusively in theaters, rather than making them simultaneously available on its Disney Plus streaming service.